Uh, yeah. Nice. So, I know I said in my vintage Mac collection series that I wanted, but I found this uh, yeah. on eBay for $45, so I couldn't pass up on it. It's in pretty good condition. As you can see. But it has one small problem. When I bought a charger for it and plugged it in, it booted right up. So then I wiped the hard drive, reinstalled the OS, and when I was setting it up, the whole com and when I tried to restart it, it no longer booted to the Hey guys! It went back to the screen with the flashing question mark and finder logo, so yeah, that was a bad sign. So, I tried to reinstall the OS again, but when it went to the page to select what drive I should install it on, the hard drive here. So this iBooks hard drive, which was about 19 years old, here. And all of you guys probably know me as a guy who destroys technology, but I wanted this model iBook for a long time, so I'm not gonna destroy it. I'm gonna be trying to destroy it. So, let's try to destroy it. Computer's hard drive. Early watchers of this vlog channel, remember when I did a series where I tried to destroy it on my MacBook and that got crazy views for some reason? So, where am I gonna get the hard drive to destroy it? Also bought this uh, yeah. and I am gonna so I'm not gonna destroy it. this one for a main channel video. So why not gut it for parts for this iBook? Why was it $15 and I don't wanna keep it? Well Great hinge! And this PowerBook G4 also does boot up, but it also booted up to the flashing question mark logo screen. But turns out it was just missing an OS, so I installed an OS on it and it boots up fine now. And that's how I knew the hard drive was working, so we're gonna take this hard drive and put it in this one. Then maybe take out the 1GB of RAM and the airport card and place it in this one too. And before I take out its hard drive, let's give it one final boot up. You can also see the condition of it is really poor. Look at all this paint that's scraped off. But it still works and boots. The hard drive is kind of making funny noises. Hopefully this one won't die too. And yeah, again, I have to hold the screen up or else it will fall. Whoa. Final shutdown before- So, I'm not gonna destroy it. Good night, sweet prince. This hard drive is probably gonna die too soon, but I'm too cheap to buy a brand new hard drive and I just wanted a video. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go into our first time lapse to disassemble this one. <laughs> So yeah, that I'm gonna destroy it guide was pretty accurate if it was talking about both disassembly and reassembly and with some help from the 8-bit guys video it was pretty easy it took a long time but it was still kind of easy I also put in the airport card and one stick of RAM because there was only one slot for one stick of RAM so yeah that was a 512 megabyte stick of RAM by the way I don't know what the total RAM is now because there's some RAM soldered in but there's still the question did my repair work? Did I fuck up anything else inside of this iBook while trying to replace the hard drive? Let's find out! I also gotta say, the yo-yo charger is very cool. Alright, I have an official copy of Mac OS 9.2.1. We're just gonna put this in the disk drive and power it on while booting from disk. Heard the chime, that's good. The little hack, it can be so well apart, but the real question is, will we enter the hard drive? Alright, so it's still the OS utilities, drive setup, well, yes, yes, there it is, there it is! As you can see, the new hard drive is very nice, it's not mounted, so we're just gonna go and initialize that, initialize, and let's install back OS 9. 17 minutes, this should take a while, almost there, oh, oh, it's still just finished. We just turn off the computer first. Computer first. Alright, and now let's turn the laptop back on to see if it's truly successful. Bong. Got the Happy Mac. And yes, it's booting up! Got the jellyfish, I think it's jellyfish wallpaper. Uh-oh, I think it's frozen. Oh, never mind. And this is where the last hard drive died. I was setting the date, it froze, and then when I restarted it, that's when I saw the error no hard drive screen. 
So yeah, hopefully it doesn't break here too. Hey, the airport card I put in is working. Does it see our Wi-Fi? Why, yes it does. Suddenly gay or whatever. But will it actually connect to our Wi-Fi? Connect to the internet now. <laughs> Internet Explorer. <laughs> All right, if you see at the bottom, it looks like we have signal and I'm connected to my modern Wi-Fi network. <laughs> Uh-oh, can't go to apple.com. Let's try Google.